ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ಪಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶಕ್ಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ಬೆವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಗ್ ಹೈತಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತು ಸೇಬೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವಶ್ಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುಧೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಬರುಣ ಧ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಿರಿಂಚನು ಸರಣ್ಯಂ ಧೀತಾತಿಹಂ ಪನುಧಬಾಲ್ಲುಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೆ ಚರಣಿಂದ ಜತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸ್ವಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧಳ ಶಿವ ಕವಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾ ಬದಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾವತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದೀಪರೂಪ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಠಾ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪುಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತ್ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಿವೃತ್ತ ತರ್ಷೈರುಪಗೀಯಮಾನ ಭವೌಷಧಾತ್ಶತ್ರುಘುಣೋ ವಿರಾಮ ಕೌತ್ತಮ ಶ್ಲೋಕಗುಣಾನುವಾದ ಬಿರಜೇತ ಬಿನಾ ಪಶುಘ್ನಾಥ್ 
निवृत्त तर्स रूपगीय महानाथ भवौ सदा चत्र मनो भीरामा कौत्तम श्लोक गुणानुवादा बीरजेत बिना पशुघ्नाथ गौरिय गोष्ठीपति श्री शील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंस जगदगुरु टोल व्हाट वी वांट व्हाट वी डोंट वांट देयर शुड बी वन फाइनल सेटलमेंट ऑफ दिस मैटर गौरिय गोष्ठीपति श्री शील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंस जगदगुरु टोल व्हाट वी वांट and what we don't want there should be final settlement of this factor otherwise never we can start hari bhajan this kind of problem can persist this kind of problem can persist in our life and put us in the ocean of misery there should be final settlement what you want try to think try to think in cool brain don't become crazy what you want what you don't want can you see can you show me this is your settlement in our amount of property money woman i give you you can say that i'm satisfied can you say cannot say not possible because you are going to add fuel to fire you are going to add some ghee into fire how you can expect that fire can extinguish this is one kind of fire burning demand demand desire enjoyment no jatu kamaha kamanam upabhogena sammati no ka no jatu kamaha kamanam upabhogena sammati hobisha krishna batmaibo bhuyo eva bhi bhartate Pururava want to wanted to get satisfaction by the association of Urvashi, but finally discover that I am idiot number one. Who is going to enjoy whom? Urvashi can enjoy Pururava, or Pururava can enjoy Urvashi. Whom? Who can enjoy whom? Is possible? All matter, all body, man, woman, all body, matter, matter. There is bad smell coming out of this. Only only one a sack, only one sack of you know stool and urine and blood and flesh. Big problem. Nobody can cut the mood of enjoyment. after that the question of bhajan can come but they are not ready as if they have taken resolution as if they have they have taken resolution not to live enjoyment enjoying mood ultimately what was the case in bhagavatam we find this final conclusion by material enjoyment you cannot get satisfaction any day for infinity period for infinity period we can allow you to do enjoyment in fact you are doing life after life for infinity period you are doing enjoyment but not say getting any satisfaction by enjoying calm i cannot extinguish the fire of karma then what is the procedure you are just going to add fuel into fire so fire increasing this is not the procedure bhagwan already i can discuss this all these points bhagwan speaking to uddhav uddhav to cut all maya to go out of the influence of shatarajo tamo the influence of maya three modes of nature you will have to serve sadguru who is there staying there in transcendental realm 
Gurudev is staying there in transcendental realm, but still, purposely to deliver me, is coming here. By the service of Sadguru Charan, the only way, the only and single way, by the service of Sadguru Charan, I can cut all Maya, I can cut all my anartha, everything, and I can realize the absolute truth. There is no other way. That's why Bhagavan Sikh is now speaking to Uddhav. Rajas tamasya satya na satyan chopa samena cha etat sarvam guru bhakta purusho hi anjasa jayat. Anjasa means very easily. Very easily you can go. It's not a big issue. But this is the main issue for us. Bhagavan speaking, it is not busy. It's very, very cheap issue. Achha. But we think it's a big issue. Life after life, this life also gone. We cannot cut Maya. We think, we think to cut Maya is a big thing. Cut Maya is not big thing. It's a preliminary thing. Most preliminary, kindergarten, you know. The small kids, small kids going to kindergarten. It's a kindergarten. To cut Maya is very cheap thing. Bhagavad speaking. Very easily. But if we are struggling, to try it over this adversity. Maya, Maya, Maya. After last moment also, we cannot cut Maya. Because uh, we don't understand Tattva Siddhanta. We jump like monkey. We jump like restless monkey. It's not a big issue. Bhagavan Sikh is not speaking. Rajas Tamasya Satena. Rajagun can give you inspiration to all material things, very. Rajagun can inspire you. Oh, do this, that. By Raja, you will have to defeat Tamo. Raja, Tamascha, Satyena. Raja, Tamo. Raja, Tamo, you will have to defeat by Satagun. And after that, you will have to defeat that Satagun with Shuddha Sato. That Satagun also I cannot allow to stay in my life. Because Satagun is also a, a reason, a cause of bondage. Bhagavan speaking in Gita. Satagun also, no utility. In Bhajan, Satagun not utility. But Satagun is far better than Tamagun, Rajagun is all. But I will have to attend the stage of Shuddha Sato. Bright Satogun. So Bhagavan speaking, Rajas Tamascha Satyena Satyancha Upasamena Cha Etat Sarvam Guru Bhakta. By serving Sadguru easily. But it is not possible. By any effort, any amount of your any amount of your personal effort, useless. But by Guru Kipa, Sadguru. I can cut. By Sadguru Kipa, it is possible for you. But Sadguru, if I cannot see the object, the object I cannot see, the object I cannot feel, the object after hearing I cannot realize how to serve that object. Gurudev is in such a transcendental realm that it is impossible. There is a big gapping of Maya. There is a big gapping of Maya. How I can serve? My Guru Maharaj is there, coming down. My Guru Pātvata is coming down to help me. But there is a big gapping. I cannot see Guru Pātvata. Guru Pātvata is not material, a prakita. <sighs> So with this material mood, I cannot even I cannot even see Guru Padma. I am watching Guru Padma. He is a tall figure, very nice. This is not Guru Darshan. Gurudev is there sitting. I can see what you say. I can see Guru Padma. This is not Darshan. This is not Guru Darshan. 
by these eyes you can by this material eyes you can see stool urine woman man this you can see by these eyes you cannot see you will have to take preparation you will have to take preparation to ma to get a you know, maturity of your eyes <sighs> then you can see otherwise you cannot see guru path padma is the causeless mercy of guru path padma though i cannot see guru path padma i cannot feel i cannot realize anything still guru path padma no problem you come to me you hear my hari katha you chant hari naam i am giving you you go on doing you know seva little bit purpose we guru dev giving you seva don't know is not possible a uh, trial run trial run trial at uh, practicing in course of practicing seva in course of doing hari naam given by guru pad padma he get his eyes he get the maturity of his eyes then he can see not in the beginning he can get maturity of eyes यथायथात्मा परिमिज्यते असो मत्पुन्न गाथा सबनो विधान तथा तथा पश्यति वस्तु सूक्ष्म चुक्ष अंजन सं प्रयुक्त भगवान स्पीकिंग यू कैन सी फाइन एंड फाइन मैटर फाइनेस्ट मैटर विच इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू सी विथ मेटेरियलाइज बट गो ऑन हियरिंग हरिक गो ऑन हियरिंग गो ऑन हियरिंग हरिक दिस कैन गिव यू ऑल फैसिलिटी complete facility go on hearing hari kata you go on hearing bhagwan speaking to udha udha according to the mood according to the according to the mood according to the tenacity according to the desire of hearing hari kata how much tenacity how much according to that proportion according to that proportion you can develop your fine darshan according to that proportion you can develop fine darshan but when i can get established in hari katha hari kirtan then complete eyes opening complete i can see guru pad padma i can see prabhupad bhakti me thakur all dham naam everything everything i can see that's why the shloka is started with a very important nibritto tarshai tarsha mean thrustiness you are feeling thrusty na when you are feeling thrust thrusty then you are drinking water but that but the thrustiness but the thrustiness to enjoy matter can never come to an end if you drink water sufficient uh, you can be okay sufficient uh, now no thrust in it. i know don't need any water to drink but this thrustiness this kind of dirty thirty thrustiness i mean the mood of enjoyment can never come to an end it can go and go and go for infinity period krishna buli shei jeev anadi bahirmukh अतए माय तारे दे संसार आदि कंटिन्यूस गोइंग नो सल्यूशन बाय गुरु सेवा सदगुरु सेवा प्रभात मेनी टाइम टोल इफ यू आर एंजॉयिंग गुरु की पा मेनी टाइम प्रभात टोल इफ यू आर एंजॉयिंग सदगुरु की पा परमांस गुरुदेव देन बी श्योर it is a bhagavat kipa if you are, if i am enjoying guru kipa complete gurudev going to bless me oh my son i bless you you have no demand for matter nothing only you like to sing the glories of bhagwan okay i bless you in that case i can think proper speaking you can you can be sure that it is a kipa bhagwan because bhagavat kipa coming through guru vishnu coming 
That's why Baba told, there should be one final settlement of our demand. What you need, what you don't need, what is your demand? What is your actual demand? There should be final settlement of that thing. If not, Hari Bhajan cannot, even Hari Bhajan cannot start. I cannot cheat you. It is like Hari Bhajan. Like Namabhash. Namabhash is not actual now. But it is like Hari now. This way, all continuously. We can remember the case of Devahuti Ma. We can remember the case of Devahuti Ma. Manu Putri, the daughter of Manu, Manu Maharaj. She wanted to enjoy, I mean, wanted to get saturation point of enjoyment. <sighs> He wanted to get saturation point of enjoyment. But finally, tell you, Kardam Rishi, Kardam Rishi, out of his Jog Vibhuti, Jog Vibhuti, you know, power of yoga. Kardam Rishi, out of his Yoga Vibhuti, power, going to manifest countless item of enjoyment which is even not available in heaven out of yogic power is written in Bhagavatam. This kind of yogic power, enjoyment. Devahuti just turned. Kardam is speaking. My dear, you can take bath because Kardam Rishi is doing austerity and penances and Devahuti also doing. So his body becomes very slim, dark, golden complexion. Come on, she is the daughter of King Manu Maharaj. But in course of doing, you know, austerity and penances for years after years, his body becomes Someday, Kardam Rishi blessing, I know you have some desire. But this kind of tremendous desire for enjoyment, you wanted to check. This kind of tremendous mood of enjoyment, you wanted to check by serving me. I mean, I am doing a certain penance, you wanted to help me, so I can bless you. Get ready. Get ready for enjoyment. You take bath in this pond. You take bath in this pond. And after that, you climb that chariot, big chariot, big plane. Where is all facility available? Big chariot. Then Devahuti is going to take bath. And while going to take bath, there are so many dim cells, they appear. Very beautiful ladies, as a maid servant, going to clean her body, somebody going to apply some medicine there in hair, because it's matted, it is almost like matted. Not cleaning, na? so it becomes fresh. Aushadi. And the body becomes very clean bright like previous, then she is going to climb the plane, Kardam Rishi enjoying, Kardam, Kardam Rishi giving enjoyment to Devahuti, fully. The plane flying here and there, all over this, you know, here and there, everywhere, plane going. Long enjoyment, whole enjoyment, whole. After that, Devahuti was fed up. Devahuti, Devahuti could realize, Devahuti could realize to make me understand. Devahuti could realize 
that to make me understand that material enjoyment is nothing. My husband, Kadam Rishi, wanted to arrange this. Nothing else. He wanted to make fool of me. To make me understand this material enjoyment is nothing or dirty. So, now Devauti realized. Now no more she want to enjoy. Now no more she want to enjoy. She is, she is speaking, enough of it. I am just fed up. I am just fed up of material enjoyment. Enough of it, I don't like it. Throw, throw. I don't like it. Devauti Ma speaking, I wanted to supply, I wanted to supply all the items of enjoyment of my respective sense organ. All my respective sense organ, they wanted to demand something. Eyes wanted to give me beautiful figure, I like to see this, enjoy. My ear wanted to speak, you give me nice, nice thing, I want to hear material things. I wanted to. Nice, nice food. I wanted to supply them. But still today, they are not going to show any merciful attitude to me. I wanted to supply them whatever they demand. I thought they can someday can bless me. But they are merciless. Still today, they are not going to show any merciful attitude to me. So that I can feel saturation point. So, Kardam Rishi crying in front of Devauti, uh, uh, Devauti crying in front of Kapilji Maharaj, Bhagavan. <coughs> Bhagavan, I am just fed up of different kind of mental enjoyment. I thought that this could be a solution. I thought this could be a solution, but not a solution. Asatindiya Tarshanat. Asatindiya Tarshanat. Thrusty attitude to enjoy material thing. Asatindiya Tarshanat. I am now put into a ocean of misery. Jeno Sambhasya Maneno Prapanya Andham Tamaha Prabhu. There's material enjoyment. Now going to put me in Tama, ignorant. Of what to do? Where to go? This way, Devauti Ma crying and going to seek help. She is going to seek help from from Kapilji Maharaj Bhagavan. From Kapilji Maharaj Bhagavan. Now Devauti not speaking, you are my son. Devauti not speaking, you are my son. Now speaking Bhagavan. Bhuman. Bhuman mean? Bhuma Purush. Bhuman mean? Bhuma Purush. Bhuma Purush mean? Anantadev. Anantadev mean Bhagavan. This way, we know there is no question of any satisfaction in our life by the help of material enjoyment. There is no solution in our life. Actually, our whole life, we are student. Whole life, up to death, we are student. Because directly, indirectly, we are learning something. That is whole life, Bhakti Muttakur told, our whole life is student life. Our whole life is student life. We are learning. And what to speak about Aprakita Jagat. In Aprakita Jagat, Shabda Brahma is infinity. Anantaparam Kila Shabda Shastram. Anantaparam Kila Shabda Shastram. Shabda Shastra, infinity. How I can catch, how I can digest? Yes, possible. 
by the mercy of Guru, Sadguru. What not possible by the mercy of Sadguru? That's why nothing strange, nothing strange in the way of Hari Bhajan. If I am going to get mercy of Guru Pahat Padma, that is the main thing. I was speaking about how Bhagavan Sri Krishna took decision to withdraw his own parshad. There should be some reason on the basis of which he can withdraw his own parshad. So Bhagavan took decision to make one leela. What leela? All Munishis, by the desire of Bhagavan reaching Daruka, just outside Daruka city, there is a nice garden, very nice place. All Rishi Muni, all coming and they are doing bhajan there. I already told in the meantime, the small boys, Jadubangshi Balak, small boys in course of, in course of their play, playing mood, in course of their sporting mood, playing mood, they wanted to approach that place. Oh, my, it is the arrangement of Jokuma. Otherwise, why they can, they can joke with sadhu? They never done. Same case I told you. Parikhit Maharaj speaking, in my whole life, never I have done this kind of mistake. I was never restless. In my whole life, I was very much respectful for Sadhu Guru Vishnu. But what happened? But what happened that time? That I wanted to take one, the dead body of that uh, snack, I wanted to put on the neck of one Rishi? Come on. Parikhidma himself cannot calculate. Parikhidma himself, he has done this mistake. But he cannot calculate how possible. How it was possible for me, how it was possible for me to insult one sadhu. I never done. In my destiny, nobody done it. But how it was possible for me? So if Bhagavan can arrange, if Bhagavan can arrange one punishment, if Bhagavan can arrange one punishment for me, I think I can at least go out of this problem. Because it can get counterbalance. If I'm doing aparat and I'm going to find some solution, solution is there, then counterbalance. Counterbalance, you know, counterbalance. Counterbalance. So he is seeking. If Bhagavan can give me punishment, then it's okay. Oh, chi! Useless. How I am done? In the meantime, that one small boy coming to inform to King Maharaj, Siringa Rishi, the son of Samik Muni, going to curse him. That you can die, you can leave your body within seven days. Within seven days. By snack bite. Then Parikhit Maharaj become very happy. Oh, it's nice. Now I can counterbalance. Because Parikhit Maharaj is surely not thinking about this body. Parikhit Maharaj thinking about the spirit. Whereas you are thinking about body, I am thinking about body. It is beyond our estimation. It is beyond our estimation. How? Parikhidma, how we can happy? Because he's going to die. Oh, doubt die, okay. But Parikhidma thinking about spirit, Atma. My Atma can get uh, some facility to go up. That's good. That's why in Bhagavatam we say Parikhit Maharaj is Mahabhagavat. That's why we say in Bhagavatam we can find three, four times. Parikhit Maharaj is Bhagavatam, Mahabhagavat, Esho Mahabhagavataha. And Parikhit Maharaj is compared with honeybees. Sharanga Eva Sarabhuk. 
Parikhit Maharaj is compared with honeybees. Like honeybees, why? Because honeybee is going to fly and sit in a flower, only going to take the honey and going away. But in flower, there is also poison. You don't know. You have no information. Flower in flower, in flower honey is there. But at the same time, there is also poison. Another insects coming to collect poison. Whereas a honeybee is going to collect honey and go away. Someday I can discuss Prabhupada speaking nice philosophy on this ground. From different flower, honey is flying, collecting some flower from honey, again putting there, going there. So Saranga he was Sarabhuk. So Parikhi Maharaj is so Parikhid Maharaj is compared with one honeybees. Like honeybees can collect nice, nice thing. Don't go to bother about any bad thing can be there in flower. But what is concerned to me? I'm going to collect only honeybees. But if I ask you, you can collect honey? I can give you a lot of flower. I can give you a grinder. You can put all flour into grinder and do, and you can get extra one drop of honey. You can show me. Possible for you? But you have latest technology, so many things you have. So many advanced, latest technology, everything you give me. Honey? Not possible. Because it is a duty of honeybees. Similarly, those who are pure Guru Vishnu, they are collecting different honey from different sastra, and they are going to represent in front of you, speak in front of you. They are collecting like honeybees. <laughs> different flower. They are collecting and giving to you. For your survival, for your survival, so that you can survive from Maya, from the pressure of Maya, fighting of Maya, for your survival. So Parikhit Maharaj is compared with honeybees because, anyway, Kali is very dangerous. Kali is very dangerous. Kali cannot allow you to survive. It is a, it is a plotting of Kali to kill you. Poli can, anyway, anyway there is no problem, but still problem fight. No problem, but still problem. Koli can, Koli cannot allow you to do, Koli cannot allow you to do Hari Bhajan. Popat wanted to arrange one ashram for Mataji's, for Mataji's, Prabhupada wanted to make one ashram the Jogopit that side. But after some time, Prabhupada giving hand in head. Oh my God. Koli is so strong, cannot allow to do. Prabhupada stop. Here you can go one ashram. Only woman staying. One sadhu arrange. But there is fighting always. Big politics and fighting going on. So anyway, Koli cannot allow you to do Hari Bhajan. But Koli cannot put any influence on you, provided you are completely going to surrender and do the lotus feet of Guru Dev, Guru Vaishnava. Cannot make any problem. You can survive. So Koli is very dangerous. So in Kalikal, it is written in Shastra, Hari Bhajan, completely impossible. But still, one, one nice quality, one nice quality that in Kalikal only one advantage you can get. You need not go for austerities, finances. You need not go for fire sacrifice. You need not go for meditation, nothing. Yagya, nothing. Only by the help of Harinam, you can come out. Sir. This is a facility. This is a facility you can get. But we are not ready to take advantage of this golden opportunity. You are not, we are not ready to get, take advantage of this golden opportunity. Very bad. 
Kali, we know Kali is very dangerous. But still, there is one prominent quality, very nice quality. That is, only by the help of chanting Harinam, <coughs> you can go out of Maya. Kittanat eva kishnasya mukta sangha param bhajat. Kaler dosha nidhe rajan, Kaler dosha nidhe rajan, Osti ek mahan gunaha. Kaler dosha nidhe rajan, Osti ek mahan gunaha. Kittanat eva kishnasya mukta sangha param bhajat. You can get free. All scriptural evidence can prove. Only by Harinam, chanting, Harinam, Harikatha, Harikirtan, you go on doing. Very easily, very easily. This way you can cross over the material world. No problem can touch you. No problem can touch you. But who is going to obey me? Who is going to obey me? That is a question. Who can believe me? So, Bhagavan Sri Krishna took decision to withdraw. Bhagavan Sri Krishna took decision to withdraw his own parsha. There should be one cause, na? Cause and effect, I told. So he wanted to bring all sadhamani. They wanted to joke with, like I, the case of Parikhid Mahaprabhu. I never. Some acharyas are going to explain wrongly. They say, there was a golden crown on the head of Parikhit Maharaj and Parikhit Maharaj already uh, has, already he has given uh, the place of Kali in gold. Parikhit Maharaj already allowed, na? Kali praying, na? When Parikhit Maharaj taking the sword out, I can kill you, Parikhit Maharaj. I am surrendered to you. So how you can kill me? Well, then don't make any problem. If you can give me one place, then I can stay there. Because if you can give me place, I can stay. Well, you can stay, you know, gold, money, position, everything. Some places. After the Kohli saying, this kind of accommodation, this kind of small accommodation is not sufficient for me. You can give me a, you can give me a little big place. The flat is very small. <laughs> I cannot accommodate company. So please give me. Punoscha jato, punoscha jato manayo, jato rupam adat prabhu. When again, Kali speaking, this place is not uh, comfortable for me. Give me a little bigger place than jato rupam ajat prabhu. This way, Kali was controlled. This way, Kali was controlled by Parikhid Maharaj. Now, who can? Now, who can control? Parik Parikhid Maharaj was there. That's why, by the help of Parikhid Maharaj, Kali was under control. But now, who can control? You can control Kali. Nobody. No. Now, only one point. That is, go on chanting Harina in the home, outside. Don't desire anything. There is no love in this material world. They can cheat you. You can discover in the, in the ocean of misery. Big problem. So, in Kalikal, we are enjoying the topmost facility that no need of and uh, collecting these, that, so many, nothing. Only I can sit and Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. I can do. This facility I'm getting. No item, no money, no way, nothing in it. Only we can go on doing Kirzan and I can come out successful. This much facility we are getting, but still we cannot do. We are jumping into fire. We are jumping into fire. What to do? We are jumping into fire. Now, who is responsible for that? So, anyway, Bhagavan Sri Krishna is going to take a decision to arrange something on the basis of which then I can withdraw all my team. So, all Munirishis, they are going to cards. Ah! We are joking with us, huh? That lady can. Rishi Muni knows that there is not lady, it's Samba. 
<laughs> they are not foolish. They have their third eyes. Guru Vishnu has third eyes. If look at you, they can understand what happened. What happened, when, why. For, you see, <coughs> they are going to cars. That the, that the lady can give birth to one piece of iron bar. Miracle. Miracle. When, when Rishi Muni is speaking, <coughs> when Rishi Muni is speaking, that she can give birth to an iron bar, immediately Sambo discovered there is one bar. Miracle. Whenever Rishi Muni curse, Immediately, Shambho discovered there is one bird, iron bird inside belly. You don't understand the theory. You don't understand the Siddhanta Vichar. Because I wanted to say that when somebody established in bhajan, when he is speaking something, it becomes true. <coughs> Again, clearly I like to explain from Vedanta. But now, no time. The object I indicate, the object I indicate by voice, try to understand. The object I indicate by voice, my voice, the object I indicate by voice, that object is there physically. Don't understand. Like Madhavandi was speaking, Ha Krishna! Then with this ex exclamation, this kind of exclamation, Ha Krishna, Krishna is present. Ha Vrindavan, then Vrindavan is present. But if you say water, 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 the water is a sound. Water cannot come. Follow I here. When you say water, 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 you can shout. But water, you are not getting water. What I mean to say, in Aprakita Jagat, the object I mean, the object I wanted to say by voice is identical with the object present. Like, like Bhakti Minata Goji is speaking Hare Krishna, Radha Govinda is present. But if you speak Radha, Hare Krishna, Radha Govinda is not present. So on those days, <coughs> on those days, so powerful Guru Vaishnava and Brahman, so powerful. If they curse somebody, if they curse somebody, immediately this is going to happen in your life. If on those days, on those days, if some Brahman, Vaishnava, they are going to curse you, immediately you can find. Immediately. It, will, it can come true in your life. But at present, there is no such power at present. Some Guru Vaishnava can have, but ordinary people are. No Brahman. <coughs> so, I already told, iron bars uh, were you know, taken out, I mean, came out, and by the advice of the assembly, parliament, Sudharma Sava, they all took decision well, very good. You can take the iron bar and you can go to riverside or seaside. You can drop like Chandan. We can pay salary until uh, up to the last moment. Up to the last moment of the residue part. Up to the last moment of the residue part of the iron bar. You go on dropping, drop, drop. Shh. After that, the almost whole iron piece was converted into powder. I mean, Liquid, with liquid, iron powder, not liquid, but with liquid water, it seems like liquid powder, powder, fine. And it was thrown. And the rest of the part, very small part, uh, useless. It cannot, this kind of small part cannot destroy the whole jyoti. Uh, useless. So, and one fish going to swallow, and the fish was caught by a fisher, I already told. A fish are going to sell that fish eh? by cutting. I discover one piece of iron, very nice, but it's 
but it is of it is of no use it is of no use to me so one hunter is it of any use of no you can give me i can give some money i you can take he is going to collect and making rav and making a very sharp weapon very nice you can so i already told then after that the jara that hunter name of that hunter is jara jara now looking from long distance wow oh, there is a nice bird very nice bird a krishna's lotus feet is not small krishna lotus feet like this footprint of krishna footprint of krishna you can discover in vrindavan this much tall so in this room you cannot give accommodation to one man who is coming from satyaju you don't understand what i mean to say if i like to if i like to give accommodation to one man who is coming from satyaju because a very small accommodation if he enter into room head you can bounce in the lol figure tall figure one gate is a big gate Hundred foot get, then he can enter. But now, <laughs> so day by day, creation changing, this kind of evolution. So finally, Krishna Lotus Feet was there from distance. One is watching very nice bird. Is going to take the arrow and throw. the arrow going straight way and going to penetrate the lotus feet of bhagwan krishna blood coming out but it is after not in the beginning <coughs> because in the beginning when it is after i i going to speak something after that it happened not before uddhav ji mara searching krishna i already told Balaji Maharaj, when find a mutual fighting, when Balaji Maharaj discovered there is a mutual fighting going on, Balaji Maharaj withdraw his uh, mind. He become indifferent. He going to sleep into water, and Ananta Dev manifest and he vanish. Balaji Maharaj gone. Krishna where gone? Nobody knows. Uddhavji Maharaj searching where Krishna, where my Prabhu gone? Because too much oneness, na. Uddhavji Maharaj and Krishna, there is too much oneness. You cannot even in dream you cannot calculate. So now Uddhavji Maharaj gone mad, searching Krishna, where my Prabhu gone? Finally discover my Prabhu is there under a peepal tree with four hand. Jogo, like like Bhagwan is a jogi. Bhagwan is surely jogi, maha jogi. Bhagwan is jogi. Yes, okay, maha jogi Bhagwan. Bhagwan is indifferent attitude, as if nothing happened, no disturbance. Bhagwan going to sleep with four hand and putting one leg on other. Uddhav Ji Maharaj coming and and jump into the lotus feet of Krishna. I am searching where you are. I cannot live without you. You see the condition of Jadava. All Jadava they gone. There is one mystery I can explain. Not now. How Jadava disappear? What is the case? Now Bhagwan Sri Krishna. Sitting, not speaking anything. Uddhav Ji Maharaj crying and crying heavily. Uddhav Ji Maharaj crying heavily, heavily. Uddhav Ji Maharaj speaking. It seems, Prabhu. It seems that you are going to withdraw your leela. It seems, if I am not going to make any mistake. If I am not going to make any mistake, I am sure. 
that you are going to leave this material world. But please, you don't leave me alone. I cannot stay alone, I can die immediately. If you leave me, I cannot live even fraction of a second without you. Without you, I cannot live. Please, you take me with you. I think you are going to leave this material world. You take with me. Bhagavan Sri Krishna looking at Uddhav and speaking, My dear Uddhav, my dear Uddhav, you will have to stay here in the material world. No, I cannot stay here. Without you, I can die. You will have to stay. Because you demand, you deserve that you are my Sevak, na? You are my Sevak, na? You are my servant, na? You say you are, you are serving me. So, servant means service, Sevak. Sevak means you will have to carry out the order of the Master. So long, so long we have incomplete, so long we have incomplete conception. So long we have some incomplete conception of Shabak. Shabak means Shabak can cook for Gurudev, wash utensil, wash you know, cloth. This is Shabak. So long, so long we have some incomplete conception of seva. What do you mean the seva? Somebody can be there who is not 100% inclined. I can show you, so you go. Thousands of such cases. Not thousands, countless such cases. They have no submission. They are cooking for Guru there. Closing cloth, drying it, you know, putting micro, you know, you know, this recorder here. I have seen. But ultimately fall down. They are doing so intimate seva. So intimate. But finally, wanted to get advantage like a pros. Pros going to sell body, in return like to get money. This is our Guru Seva. We like to serve Guru Dev. But in return like a pros, we like to take something. I have, I have I have given service to Guru Dev, so I, it is most likely that I can become Guru. If so be the case, then why Prabhupada speaking, Acharya can never be elected or selected. Acharya is, maybe may whole world is going against that Shadu. Maybe whole world is going against that Acharya. I mean, Acharya, man, nobody knows he is Acharya. He is not giving initiation. Whole world is against him because he is speaking about absolute truth. But it is the arrangement of Bhagavan. Bhagavan making him Acharya. Acharya mean? Acharya mean? You will have to establish Siddhanta Bhisha. Acharya mean you will have to check the downfall of the society. Acharya doesn't mean you can go and collect billions of dollars and put in pocket. This is not Acharya. Main symptom of Acharya is to give full protection to our Siddhanta Vani, Siddhanta. And Acharya is crying for Sampradaya. But who is crying at present, you show me? They like to kick the Sampradaya. They like to destroy the Sampradaya. I am bound to say, they are ready to destroy the Sampradaya only to collect one small amount of Pratishtha. For small amount of Pratishtha, they are ready to sell all Bani Vaibhav. Slight Pratishtha. For some Pratishtha, they want to sell Gauriya Vaibhav, Bani Vaibhav, library, they like to sell to get some Pratishtha. Better they can eat urine and stool. Instead of Prasadam, instead of Prasadam, they should eat urine and stool. I can arrange so much stool and urine. They can take in a pot and take. Because they are, anyway, they are taking urine on stool. For some Pratishtha, they like to cheat me. They have to take care of everything, cheat and sell. This is their Acharya Sip. They can make full of whole world, but they cannot make full of me. I am protected by Prabhupada. I am protected by Guru Pat Padma. You cannot make full of me. Not so easy. Not so easy. 
So this way, so long, we have some incomplete, incomplete idea about submission, incomplete idea about, about, the, about the meaning of sevak. Sevak doesn't mean you can, ah, I can clean the room, I can change the clothes, bread, okay. It can be seva or cannot be seva. It depends upon your inclination. It's a scientific term, no? It can be seva. But external view, by external calculation, you cannot say it's doing seva. But one thing very important, Krishna speaking. Krishna speaking. Seva, the actual meaning of seva is one word I can say. Very scientific. The duty of Sevak is to carry out the order of Master. That's this one. It is the duty of Sevak. There is a scientific explanation of Sevak. It is the only duty of Sevak is to carry out the order of Master. This much. And within this word, all hidden form all technology, all Siddhanta Vishnu. So long have, so long we have one incomplete conception of, about the meaning of this seva. But now I come to know, Bhagavan Sikh is not, you are my seva, no? You are my seva, no? So what is your duty? To carry out my order? I am bound to keep you here. You will have to stay here because you are my seva, you told. I give you order. Why? Because I like to keep you as a representative, as a rep representative acharya on my behalf. Satsisho, try to never forget. By looking at Satsisho, by hearing Harikatha, by watching his etiquette acharan, you can understand. He is actually acharya. He is going to represent his Gurudev. Bhaman Goswami Maharaj is Bhaman Goswami Maharaj going to represent his Gurudev Keshav Goswami Maharaj. Bhaman Goswami Maharaj is going to represent his Gurudev Keshav Goswami Maharaj. Parambhijit Keshav Goswami, our, you know, Sridhar Goswami Maharaj is going to represent Prabhupada. They are going to speak the same thing, the heart, their relation, the realization they are getting out of their Guru Shiva. Sridhar Maharaj is not going to memory some, memorize some sloka and Siddhanta Vichar. Sridhar Goswami Maharaj is not so foolish. He is going to memorize some Shastra and going to speak. All the realization of Sridhar Goswami Maharaj coming out of Guru Shiva. They have given life and soul. Everything for Gurudev. But what I have given for my Gurudev, what I have given for my Prabhupada, what I have given for my Sampradaya, that is the main thing. What to speak about the protection of Sampradaya, we are ready to destroy the Sampradaya, for, to protect all small interests. They can get punishment. They can automatically. We need not to play our head. They can get such a punishment. In infinity period, they cannot cover. They cannot cover up. They can fall down in such a level. They can fall down to such a level. Pope was speaking. I am not speaking. Who am I to speak? They can fall down to such a level, low level, that they cannot cover up. Let them do. Collect money, enjoy women, whatever they like. Let them do. Why you are going to play your head? You do your own business. Do Harinam Sankirtan in front of a, a few devotees, okay? Who can expect the whole world can hear this kind of Siddhanta? Who can? I cannot, I am not so foolish. I cannot expect the thousands of people, uh, they can hear. Their luck is, you know, bad luck. Their luck is bad luck. They never can hear. They cannot digest, they can lo lose motion or dysentery. They can develop dysentery after hearing this katha. They cannot digest. 
So, it's good that they can stay away from me. I pray to Bhagavan. Bhagavan, you arrange the situation in such a way that they can stay away from me. I need not look their, I need not look their face up to the last moment of my life. This is my resolution. Let people say that Sam Baba is fallen soul, okay? Really, I am fallen soul? What I am doing all by the power of Gurudev and Prabhupada? Let them speak whatever they like, what it concerns to me. So now what happens? Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, you will have to carry out my order. If there is no representative in this material world, who can act as Acharya? Who can show? Who can show people light? In the darkness of Tama, Maya, who can show light? Torch. This is the light, you go this way. You will have to stay. You will have to stay. Don't cry. I am with you, but I will have to leave. Because my duty is over, my seva is over. All my, the reason for why, the reason for why I was bound to come here in the material world, now almost over. <coughs> so, I will have to go away, but you will have to stay. What I can do by staying? I know nothing, I have no knowledge, nothing, no money, like Prabhupada in Trolla, when Panchasattva, when Panchasattva and Guru Bhargava, well, you will have to do preaching. How I can do? I have no money power, no manpower. Well, everything can come. You get ready. Uddhaji Maharaj I have no manpower, money power, no knowledge. You are again. Uddhav, you will have to preach. If you say, how I can preach? One Chandan tree, you know, Chandan tree, you never seen? Foolish. You go to South India, one Chandan tree. There is countless snack covering. Chandan tree is such a tree, all countless snack can be there. But one Chandan tree, the speciality, Chandan tree not going to do anything. Try to understand. Chandan tree not going to do anything, only standing. But the the smell of chandan can go around and give you nourishment. Chandan tree not personally not going to and take any effort. Chandan tree is standing. Only air coming and touching the body of chandan tree, giving you the smell of chandan. Uddhav, you will have to act like this. You need not do anything. You can stay in the material world. That is more than sufficient. Only one pure sadhu, if is there in the material world, is more than sufficient. If they are not going for preaching, their character, their behavior, their bhajan, itself preaching. Like the bhajan of Gaurkishar Babaji Maharaj is more than sufficient. Gaurkishar Babaji Maharaj is the dropmost preacher. You cannot confess. I confess. Srila Gaurkishar Babaji Maharaj is the topmost preacher. Bhaktivinoda Thakur never going to foreign country, but he is the topmost preacher. Rupa Goswami, Swanathan Goswami, they never went to foreign country. They are topmost preacher. Preaching is such a thing. Preaching is such a thing that you cannot understand. Out of your bhajan power, your character, your behavior, your efficacy, your love for Bhagavan can propagate automatically. Like I am speaking here, there is advanced technology, the sound vibration going, there is radar catching and through net system going there. This thing I can discuss tomorrow. How Haridas Thakur, 500, 550 years ago, going to speak about the latest technology? How possible? Haridas Thakur, 550 years back, speaking. Haridas Thakur, I can explain this point tomorrow. Prabhu, when he was speaking, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. 
In that, this, your sound vibration propagate all over the world, creation. It's true. As per latest technology, as per, as, as per latest advanced technology, scientific development, we know. If I speak, if I speak something, the sound propagation goes all over the world. You are catching this sound and going to transfer. That's separating. But anyway, if there is no technology, no, but still sound is propagating. You don't know. Haridas Thakur was successful to indicate this point. 550 years back. Oh my God. Almost 600 years back. Successful to speak. When you are speaking Harinam, sound going, going to dash with this rock, I mean hill, trees and aquatic element also, all sound going everywhere. They are getting mangal. So, Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to Uddhav, Uddhav, you need not play your head. Automatically preaching can be done. Oh, actually I don't know any Siddhanta, I know. To. Well, your presence, only and only your presence is more than sufficient. Like one Chandan tree, not moving here, there. Only the air blowing and taking the smell of Chandan and going to supply to it. So your presence is more... Okay, well, if you think that you need some knowledge, I think, I think, I think, I think such a knowledgeable person, I think such a knowledgeable person like you is not available in heaven. Bhagavan speaking. I think such a knowledgeable person, Pandit is not available even in heaven. You say you have no knowledge. Well, if you think so, then sit here. I can speak. I can speak all about the secrecy of Bhagavad Dharma. I can speak. You sit. Now you sit in front of me. I can speak in front of you. All about the secrecy of Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan. With direct realization, my blessing is there. Then, Uddhav taking preparation. Uddhav asking question. Very humble mood. Uddhav is just like a street beggar. Prabhu, I have no knowledge. I know nothing. How I can help people to cut Maya? But Bhagavan speaking, you are going to express this kind of humble mood, na? But I think such a knowledgeable personality like you is not available even in heaven. So you see. Okay, you see. Then Uddhavji Maharaj crying and crying, heavily crying and crying, because anyway, I'm going to lose Bhagavan. Bhagavan is going to go away leaving me. Whereas in my whole life, I never, in my whole life, I was never alone. I was always with Bhagavan. Now, Bhagavan is going to keep me here. I love to carry out the order of Bhagavan. I mean, Prabhu, my Shakha. Uddhav says, Shakha friend. When Bhagavan Sri Krishna is going to speak about this Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan, secret knowledge, very, very secret knowledge, Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan. In the meantime, Maitriya Muni, Maitriya Muni, you heard the name of Maitriya Muni, by the desire of Bhagavan. Maitriya Muni also come. It is the arrangement of Bhagavan. When Bhagavan Sri Krishna is going to speak about these all secret things, in the meantime, Uddhav is sitting, in the meantime, Maitriya Muni coming. Well, Prabhu, he paid on the work. I have my right. I have my right to hear your, uh, your, uh, your advice. Yes, you see it. So Maitriya Muni, so Maitri Muni was also there. Both of them sitting, but mainly Uddhav is there. Maitra Muni is uh, sitting there. There is no such indication. There is no such information that Maitra Muni putting question. Only it is written in Bhagavatam. Maitra Muni is there. But Maitra is sitting there. But Uddhavji Maharaj, one by one by one by one by one, putting question. One by one, putting question. 
So nice question, Maharaj. So nice question, you can go mad. You can unveil the, all the mystery of your life. You can unveil all the mystery of your life. That's why I took decision to discuss this precious jewel. That is called the last advice of Bhagavan Sri Krishna in front of Uddhavji Maharaj. After hearing this, after hearing this, there can be no residue, only prem and love. No question can be there. After hearing. Prabhupada many times used to say, if somebody is going to hear Bhagavatam, Prabhupada many times used to say, if somebody is going to hear Bhagavatam, okay, under the guidance of one Bhagavat, because reading Bhagavat means he is Bhagavat. If I am not Bhagavat, I cannot read Bhagavat. It's not possible. Realization can come inside the heart of Mahabhagavat. Gorantha Bhagavat and Bhakta Bhagavat, both, you know. Bhagavan going to arrange this kind of secret knowledge. But all useless people, they cannot accept it. All people cannot understand. There should be some quality. Only on the basis of one slok of Gita, 67, he is not publishing. In August, and August 20, there was some internal defect. He is not publishing. I am requesting for a long time. There is no editing. In Harikata, there is no editing, nothing. There is not publishing. And on one slok, for six weeks, for continuous this for six weeks, I was bound to discuss 67 number slok or 18 chapter. 18th chapter. 18th chapter of Gita. 67 number slok. For six weeks, continuously. Because it was very important. Because Bhagavan wanted to show the quality to whom we can give Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan. Quality. Who can hear? Everybody can take this and misuse it. It's not good. Qualities. Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking. On the basis of, the, of that slog, for continuous we have six, uh, I think six, seven weeks. Six weeks I'm calculating, we practically started. But before also I discuss. I mean, before six weeks. Continuous. If it, if it can be converted into English, I want to speak in Hindi. If you can convert, convert into English, it's good, I think. So, Prabhupada used to say, Srila Prabhupada used to say, after hearing Bhagavatam from a Mahabhagavat, Vaishnav, if somebody hearing, okay, they can hear you know, up to nine canto, and before uh, entering into tenth canto, they should realize something very special. Without that kind of realization, if they forcefully like to enter into tenth canto, they can lose everything. Because very topmost secrecy about Krishna Leela. Prabhupada used to say even, Bal, even Bala Leela. Prabhupada used to say even Bala Leela of Krishna. Before hearing you should have some quality. I mean you should go up to some po certain point. Otherwise you cannot realize. And after hearing 10th Cantro, after hearing 10th Cantro from Shaduguru Vaishnava, Pio. Suppose you are hearing 10th Cantro, somehow. But after hearing 10th Cantro, if you are not going to hear 11th Cantro, all your hearing Bhagavatam is useless. Go to water. Even after hearing Bhagavatam after 10th Cantro, if you are not going to hear 11th Cantro specially, then all your hearing of Bhagavatam, all useless. That's why I took decision 
to discuss. Now it's up to Prabhupada and Bhakti Mr. Thakur, they can help me to discuss all about the secret points. Time is very limited. Try to concentrate. So, maybe tomorrow I can discuss no time now. Nibritta Tarsai Rupagiyya Mahanad Babau Shadat Chhatra Mano Viramad Ka Uttama Sloka Gunan Vadad Vira Jeta Bina Pashugnad Vancha Kalpatara Sikha Pasindipabhish Patitanang Pabhunibhyo Vaishnavi Yonamon